Hey guys, welcome back to Past Amazing, and today we're going to be talking about seven things that you didn't know about Clash of Clans. So basically, these seven things are probably features or facts about the game that you didn't know before. And right now, I'm going to be telling you guys about these things. So hopefully this is interesting to you guys, and hopefully you learn a few things as well. Now before I get into this video, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and you turn on my notifications for all my latest uploads. I post the latest Clash of Clans updates, news, and leaks. Now anyways, we're going to be hopping right into this list right here, starting off with number 1. Playing more than 4 hours will require you to take a break from the game. Now this is probably one of the more common ones most of you probably know about the personal break feature, but for those of you that don't, uh, you can't just like play Clash of Clans 24-7, you can't stay on all the time, because after 4 hours of playing the game consecutively, Supercell is actually going to kick you off the game temporarily so that someone else can attack you. This whole personal break was designed so that the top players wouldn't stay on 24-7 so then no one else could attack them while they're online. Uh, they were basically exploiting that right there, so Supercell basically added this thing in. The personal break used to be 8 hours and then they reduced it to 6 hours and then a couple of years ago, they reduced it again to only 4 hours. So if you're playing 4 hours all at once, Supercell is going to force you to log off. And if you guys want to check how much time is left before you get kicked off, you can go up to the top of your village where it has that guard or your shield symbol. You click on that little icon right there, and it's going to tell you at the bottom how much time you have left until your personal break. Alright guys, so we're going to move on to number 2 which is that you only can have one gem box at a time in your village. So we all love gem boxes, they're one of my favorite obstacles because they give you 25 gems per gem box and they spawn like once a week or so, but the thing about them is only one of them will spawn in your village at a time. You can't have two gem boxes in your village. So basically what you're going to want to do is as soon as you see a gem box in your village, go ahead and remove it as soon as you can. Because until that gem box gets removed, you can't get any other gem boxes. So you might as well want to remove it if you have a free builder, or as soon as you have a free builder, uh, you want to go remove that thing right away so that you immediately get put back in the cycle to get another gem box. This one hopefully you guys do know already, but it's not like Supercell broadcasts this fact out there. Uh, so there's probably a lot of you that don't know about this. So just a public service announcement, make sure you guys are removing your gem boxes as soon as you see them. Alright, moving on to number 3. You can still request troops in your clan castle, even if your clan castle is upgrading. So this one's a pretty interesting feature, and I'm not sure if you guys knew this or not, but even if you're upgrading your clan castle, you can still request troops, you can still request spells and all that stuff. I know for like the barracks, uh, when you're upgrading your barracks or your spell factory, they don't let you train troops or train spells in that barracks while it's upgrading. But for the stuff like the clan castle, you can still request troops, uh, which sort of doesn't make sense if you think about it, because if a building is upgrading, you're not allowed to use that building because it's under maintenance, you know what I mean? So uh, the fact that you can still request troops is something that Supercell just gave to us. So awesome thing right here, I'd hate for like 7 days or however long the upgrade is for my clan castle to be completely out of order. But luckily we can request troops even if the clan castle is upgrading, which is a great feature right there. Number 4 on this list is pretty similar to the last one, but for army camps, the army camps do work while they are being upgraded as well. So let's say you're upgrading your army camp, you still can fill that army camp with troops. Now this one's also a very important and very good feature and I'm glad Supercell put this in. Once again though, if you think about it in reality, it wouldn't make sense for an army camp that's currently under construction to have troops literally around the fire, which is apparently under construction. Um, so it's a little bit weird to think about, but it's a fantasy world in Clash of Clans. Anything can happen. So yeah, we can still put troops in our army camps, even if they're upgrading. Alright, so moving on to number 5. When you move your builder's hut, it'll actually expose the sleeping builder inside. So you should try this in your village. So you take a sleeping builder hut, meaning that the builder is not working on anything. You uh, click on the builder hut to move it. You move the builder's hut to somewhere else, but don't actually place it down. And you'll see that under where the builder hut used to be, 
it's actually going to be the builder himself. He's going to be sleeping in that grass spot right there. So yeah, this is actually pretty interesting stuff. Supercell sort of put this little Easter egg in uh, just for us to play with and have fun with. Number six is that when your lab upgrade finishes for your troop or your spell upgrade, the new level will be applied even to existing troops. So let's say you're upgrading one of your troops and it finishes upgrading and you have that troop in your army camp already, then when it gets upgraded, all the troops in your army camp will instantly get upgraded to that new level also. So it's not like uh, you have level 7 barbarians, but since you have level 6 barbarians in your army camp, they're going to stay level 6. No, they're going to also automatically upgrade to level 7 as soon as your lab upgrade finishes. So this is pretty cool stuff, and although it doesn't really make sense, once again, Clash of Clans is a fantasy world. Anything can happen. And this is honestly a great thing, because what it means is that right before the lab upgrade finishes, I can train a bunch of that type of troop, and then put it in the queue in my barracks. And then once the lab upgrade finishes, I can just go minus all the troops, basically cancel all those troops. And then I'm going to get refunded the cost, except I'm going to get refunded back more than what I paid for it. Because I'm paying for a lower level of that troop than how much I'm getting back because the lab upgrade just finished for that troop. So yeah, a small way to make a little bit of elixir or dark elixir. I've done this in the past and it definitely works. So you guys should definitely give it a shot as well. All right, last one on this list is number seven. No one knows what the P.E.K.K.A is. So basically this is on the list because literally no one knows what the P.E.K.K.A is. I don't know. You guys definitely don't know. The only person that knows who the P.E.K.K.A is or what the P.E.K.K.A is, is the P.E.K.K.A itself and the guy who designed the P.E.K.K.A. And apparently he or she is not going to be telling us what the P.E.K.K.A is. So the P.E.K.K.A is a complete mystery. Uh, is it a robot? Is it a samurai? What is underneath that deep and heavy armor? No one knows. Could it just be a human being underneath? Or is it a robot? Or is it something else? We don't know, but it's gonna remain a mystery now and forever. So yeah, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed this one. Those were seven things that you probably didn't know about Clash of Clans. Make sure you guys do like this video if you did enjoy it. And make sure you guys do subscribe to my channel for more Clash of Clans content. And also turn on my post notifications for all my latest uploads. And yeah, until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.